Hey guys, Neri here from Drink Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, I just booted up Psychic Connections and I noticed that since I picked Elliot, uh, the title screen has changed. Uh, to reflect this. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing this for every guy in the game. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to see what the extra uh, art is going to be. Yeah, these two are so sweet. Look so sweet together. Oh, God. I really like Elliot. I'm a sucker for the daddy types. What can I say? Ugh. But anyway, guys, let's uh, continue on to it. As you've no doubt been noticing, my uh, thumbnails have been rather risque lately, so I've had to take some creative liberties with editing them to not get them, uh, to not get them just uh, ripped off of YouTube. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, jump right into it, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> ah. And moments I go tumbling into the murky waters, water quickly filling my nose as I flail my way back to the surface. Upon reaching the surface, Zoe cackles like a supervillain from the docks and jumps in after me. I swim away from her to join the others who are all standing on the submerged coast. Don't let him get away! Quickly, Elliot and Jude grab me and I find myself surrounded by four naked studs with a naked panda pursuing me. Uh-oh! Oh, no you don't! We're all in the water, so you're staying. Oh, uh, what about Jericho? He's over at the camp. Rising from beneath the water surface, a nude bull appears between all of us. Actually, I got in a while ago. I can watch Aiden easier from here. I don't need you this close. I'm not in danger. Maybe not, though it's best to play it safe. I can't afford to lose my stable income. What the hell? Why are all of you so weird? Ah, uh, don't be like that. You love us and you know it. I desperately try to escape, but alas, I am forced to surrender to their nonsensical fun in the water. After a series of gags and hijinks in the lake, Jericho intercepts our fun and declares Aiden has been in the water too long and runs the risk of getting sick. <laughs> now, I'm cold and wet and my clothes are soaked. I duck behind some trees and change out of my wet clothes and into the only other garments I packed. A single pair of spare underwear. Walking out from the trees, I bump into Quinn, who is wrapped in a large towel. Where's the towel? That's not a towel! Mason, you're still wet! Well, yeah, I decided not to bring a towel or anything. I didn't think I'd be doing anything to get my clothes ruined. Here, I've got a spare you can use, although it's a little small. Quinn hands me a small bath towel, and I do my best to wrap it around myself to no avail. Eh, what the hell, everyone else is running around naked or half-naked anyway, right? That's the spirit. Heh, <laughs> so maybe this is a bad time, but when we were in the dorms, I've been wearing more clothes than I used to, and it's made sleeping a little difficult. Okay, uh, what do you mean? Well, I normally sleep naked. I was just wondering if that would bother you. Wait, so he's asking me if I'm fine with him basically sleeping in the buff in, the buff in our dorm room. I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing, but I don't know. I feel like it could lead to some awkward situations. I don't mind. Shit, no, I don't mind. Uh, my, uh, boyfriend, uh, has sleeps, uh, has sleeps commando. I don't want you to be uncomfortable, but I don't know. Want to be weird? Oh, totally. But it'd only be when I'm trying to sleep, and I'd still be covering up my, up, and I'd still be covering up with blankets. I guess, if it's more relaxing for you, I don't have a problem with it. I wonder if this was the right thing. I'm pretty sure my chances of seeing Quinn in the nude has increased exponentially. Hey guys, over here! Zoe calls everyone to the campfire, where Jude and Elliot are already seated, drying off with towels and wearing only their underwear. So, we've got three tents and six of us. Jericho's already decided he wants to sleep in the vehicle he drove here in. So, we're gonna pair off... Jude and Quinn, you'll share a tent while Aiden and I share the other tent. Mason, you'll be bunking with Elliot. Does that sound good to everyone? Uh-oh. Zoe looks at me and gives me a wink. She totally split this up so that I'd be sharing a tent with Elliot. She's so manipulative. What does she think she's going to what does she think is going to happen? We're surrounded by our friends, and it's not like we do anything. Plus, Elliot hasn't exactly done anything beyond flirting, so there's no guarantee he's even serious. What if he is though? Would he, while I'm sleeping, or maybe even, 
My mind becomes plagued with lewd thoughts and ideas of things that could transpire tonight. Wow, that is a huge tent. <laughs> hey, Mason. It looks like we're it looks like we'll be rooming together this weekend. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. I hope you don't mind sharing a tent with me. Not at all. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, just to be sure I don't take up too much space. I tend to move in my sleep, so if I roll over towards your sleeping bag, just give me a kick. <laughs> no worries, Ellie. Sleeping bag? Did I I don't think I packed one of those. Why wouldn't I pack a sleeping bag? It's clearly an essential. What was I planning? To sleep on the ground and make a pillow out of rocks? Is everything okay? No... Shit, I'm stupid. What's wrong? I forgot to pack a sleeping bag. Which wouldn't be such a bad thing if, only, if my only pair of clothes weren't hanging to dry right now. Oh... Elliot looks at me sadly for a moment before his ears perk up. Why don't you just share my sleeping bag? Ah! Why don't you just share my sleeping bag then? Share? Yeah, it might be a tight squeeze, but you'll stay warm for sure. It's not the worst idea, at least until I consider our current state of an un current state of undress. The thought of squeezing into a sleeping bag with Elliot with almost nothing on is almost too much to think about, and I force my mind elsewhere before I have a different issue. Wouldn't our lack of clothes be an issue? I mean, were you planning to sleep in your underwear? Uh, it wouldn't normally, but I tend to overheat, and I imagine that getting snug in a sleeping bag will only make me perspire more. It doesn't bother me if it doesn't bother you. More than anything, I'm just worried that you'll catch a cold. Don't worry. I won't try anything if that's what you're worried about. You have my word. Having his word does make, me, does make me feel a little better, but I'm more worried about my own subconscious mind springing to action, as it were. Then again, it's not like any other options are being presented for me. I nod my head and we both settle into the sleeping bag. He gets in first, laying on his side, and then I do my best to slide in front with my back turned to him. Yeah, I downloaded, uh, I bought uh, Shadow Man Remastered today. I, uh, I, never, I never played it on the Nintendo 64. I always wanted to play it. But, you know... It was been on Steam a while. I never got into it, but as, you know, when the remaster, I heard the remaster was coming out. I started looking at previews. I got really excited. I can't wait to play it. He definitely wasn't wrong. It's a snug fit. We're also both still slightly damp, which creates a very humid environment in the tight space. You okay? Yeah, I just need to adjust. We grind against one another as we adjust our positions. Eventually, we settle into a side spooning that feels like it could work. Is that comfortable for you? Y yeah. I'm saying that, but I really can't bring myself to mention his thing is pressed against my rear. There's no way he can't feel that, but just the thought of bringing, bringing it up ties knots in my stomach. Oh, tying knots, are we? With his large gut pressed into my back, I feel an intense yet comfortable heat emitting from his body. He's like a heater. If I don't think about that, this is actually pretty nice. I just need to not think about his big, warm... Uh-oh. Darkness. Nothing. Like a void. A moment etched between nothing and eternity. I've been here before, and I know this feeling. I'm not alone. Oh. Now this is an interesting development. You're awake this time, aren't you? How peculiar. What? Who who are you? Ah, of course. Where are my manners? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mason. You may call me Dante. Damn it! <laughs> Damn! Oh, this is getting cool. Oh, this is weird. Ah shit! What if his uh, what if his psychic ability is actually sharing sharing his soul with another being? That would be interesting. I've just created for free to roll back. Ah damn, it's so good. Hey Rook, I love your game. Hello friend, I'm afraid you have reached the end of this build of psychic connections. I'm Rook, the writer for this lovely little project. Sorry for leaving you all on that. Sorry for leaving you on that cliffhanger. Or maybe I'm not. I do live for suspense after all. Now that we've reached the point in choosing a lovely lad to get even closer to, I expect future builds to be focused on root-specific content. Yes! 
The order of root updates will be listed in the Patreon and itch and itch posts for this build. Also, sorry if the build felt too short. We're still working on a lot of code-based development that is taking our focus. Additionally, there's just a lot of real-life stuff that's taking up my time. Bleh, real life, am I right? As new developers, we still have much to learn, so we have to ask, how did you like the game? The game is great. Nice, we're happy to hear that. It means so much to know, I, to know you enjoyed the game even at this early stage. If you want to help us further grow towards making a truly enjoyable experience and have a spare couple minutes, there are two things you can do to help. First, it helps immensely when people rate our game on itch.io. Every five-star rating we get makes Psychic Connections show up more often to more people. Anything less than a five-star rating actively hurts us, so if you don't think we've earned five stars yet, then please hold off on rating us. It also shows us just how much people are enjoying our game. The way things have been around the world lately, we want to make it, we want to make it as enjoyable an experience as possible so that we can all escape from that, even for just an hour. So seeing that high rating means the world to us. It means we are succeeding and motivates us to keep pushing. Leaving a rating only takes a few seconds, I should add. Look here. Oh, I've already given you guys a five-star rating. If you've already rated us and left a review, thank you so much. If you rated us less than five stars in the past, I ask you to reconsider rating. I ask you to consider re-rating us if you think we've earned that five star. If you still have some more time, you can also fill out our anonymous survey. Each survey we do gives us invaluable information on how to improve the game, and we want to keep checking with how you experience the game, with how your experience of the game is going. Plus, it can make for some interesting statistical data to let us compare the trends within our game over time. It shouldn't take you more than two minutes. It's just a few multiple choice questions. Yeah, I'll take it right after I'm done with this video. Alright guys, I'm gonna shut it off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, man, I can't wait to see where this goes. We, uh, you know, we've, we've begun our, uh, we've begun our, uh, love pathway. I don't know, what the hell is a love pathway? Um, we've begun our romance with Elliot, and we are in a sleeping bag together. So, you know, very saucy, very suggestive. But we also have a rather devious little bastard in our head called Dante, and I am very interested to see how he affects the story going forward. So, I'm looking forward to many more builds of this game. I hope it doesn't end anytime soon. I am loving it. Great job, guys. I cannot wait to play with the with the rest of your of your boys. <laughs> I meant that exactly how it fucking sounded. I am not apologizing. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that little notification bell. And please go visit this game, download it, play it, have fun with it, rate it. You know, they've, they've done a lot of great work with this. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Bye-bye.